Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Let's talk about microbial pesticides. These are the pesticides which are composed of microorganisms uh, as a whole or their products. Now, as we know, pesticides are used to kill different types of pests, which can uh, reduce the uh, production of different types of crops. Uh, normally, chemical uh, pesticides are used, but those chemical pesticides have so many disadvantages, especially their impact, negative impact on the environment. The chemical pesticides are mostly, most of them are recalcitrant, means those cannot be degraded or uh, they take much more time to be degraded. Uh, so the concentration keeps on increasing in the soils where those are used. Moreover, these chemical uh, pesticides, those are often not target specific and they can kill uh, different types of insects, uh, pests as well. Uh, so uh, sometimes they also kill uh, the life which is not supposed to be killed. Moreover, if uh, these are not degraded, uh, the concentration can keep on increasing. Uh, and much more importantly, um, if uh, these chemical pesticides are exposed to different types of insects again and again, the insects can uh, also develop resistance against these chemical uh, pesticides. So, in order to kill the resistant uh, pests, we would have to uh, look for much more toxic type of chemical pesticides, uh, which can again uh, have much more negative impact on the environment. Now, uh, all these are disadvantages of uh, disadvantages of chemical pesticides. Uh, so, there are different types of mi microbes uh, which are uh, good at killing different types of insects. Uh, they can be used as a whole, or there are different types of uh, products. Uh, there are different types of uh, toxic products can also be used. Um, whenever we talk about uh, eradicating different types of pests by using different types of natural mechanisms. Uh, in nature, it is already happening. Uh, there is uh, always a prey and there is always a predator, and their uh, balance is there naturally. Uh, when we try to use such approach, we have to be careful that the balance is not disturbed. Now, many bacteria are known to produce different types of toxins which can kill so many different types of life and so many different types of insects and pests as well. Um, Commercial level, pe, shayad wo abhi tak itne usable na ho, but uh, uh, these can be used in combination with other uh, products and those can be much more efficient. Now, uh, the biggest hurdle can be the time taken by these microbial toxin, uh, toxins uh, to work against different insects. Ke kitni jaldi wo insect ko kill karte hain, jisa zyada wo time lenge, Utna zyada insect ko time milega to damage the crop and the plants. Uh, so that's a big hurdle in the usage of microbial pesticides. But the research, so much research is going on um, on this aspect as well. The best, best studied example of microbial pesticide is obviously the PT toxin, uh, the endotoxin from Bacillus thuringiensis. Uh, it is uh, viable and uh, much active against so many different pests you can see here uh, and these pests can cause so much damage to the plants so uh, this endotoxin of bacillus thuringiensis normally called as bt toxin has been observed to be active against so many different pests now not only this different types uh, different strains of this bacteria are also known to produce so many different uh, variants of this toxin which can be used against so many other pests as well so much more research is going on and we can see say easily that this organism is perhaps the leading candidate in this area of research. But again as with any other uh, product there are certain limitations to Bt toxin as well. Uh, for example there is a limited range of susceptible insect. Uh, this is an uh, advantage as well that uh, the Bt toxin or any other microbial toxin product or microbial pesticide is obviously always almost always target specific. वो हर किस्म के insect को kill नहीं करता वो target specific होता है. But this is also its disadvantage as well. कि ये सिर्फ एक ही तरह के insect को kill करेगा, एक ही तरह के pest को kill करेगा. बाकियों को ये कुछ नहीं कहेगा. So in order to kill a wide range of pests, we will have to have some other chemical compounds as well. It requires uh, dosing with multiple toxins. Uh, because it is target specific, it can only kill a certain 
रेंज ऑफ द इंसेक्ट्स एंड पेस्ट सो इसको डिफरेंट अदर कंपाउंड्स के साथ मिक्स करके यूज किया जाता है समटाइम्स इट सो हैपेंस दैट इंसेक्ट्स डू नॉट इंजेस्ट अ सर्टन लेवल ऑफ दिस बी डी टॉक्सिन सो इफ दैट हैपन्स द इंसेक्ट्स विल नॉट बी किल्ड सो दिस इज अगेन अ लिमिटेशन एंड नाउ अनदर थिंग इज द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ दिस बी डी टॉक्सिन ये कितना स्टेबल रहेगा सॉयल में और कितनी इसकी शेल्फ लाइफ है और कितना कितने से बाद दोबारा इसको स्प्रे करने की जरूरत पड़ेगी सो दिस इज अगेन अनदर लिमिटेशन बट अगेन दिस इज एडवांटेज एज वेल दैट इट ऑल्सो शोज दैट दिस इज नॉट रिकासीट्रेंट ये वहां से खुद बहुत खत्म हो सकता है सो इट डज नॉट कॉज एनी बर्डन ऑन द एनवायरमेंट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस बाय द इंसेक्ट्स एज वेल एनी अदर पेस्टिसाइड इफ वी एक्सपोज द इंसेक्ट्स एंड पेस्ट विद बी टी टॉक्सिन और एनी अदर माइक्रोबिल पेस्टिसाइड चांसेज आर देयर that the insects and the pests will develop resistance against that compound so that's why we have to have keep researching in this area uh, to find much more potent microbial pesticides and microbial products which can be used to kill these pests we'll talk more about microbial pesticides in our next lessons